The city of Cidrolandia in the western state of Mato Grosso do Sul has witnessed clashes between farmers and more than 300 indigenous workers. The Terena tribe has occupied several farms in the region, claiming that the government has demarcated all indigenous lands and agrarian reform. Farmers are leaving the land, taking their cattle for fear of greater conflicts and loss of property. What we seek is simple. We want our land back. We are the legitimate owners of it and we want to be left alone and that they stop assassinating our warriors. Nothing else. It was on this farm last week that the biggest confrontation occurred between the Indians and police, resulting in the death of an Indian. Days later, in a new confrontation, a member of the tribe, Josiel Alves, was shot in the back and is now lying in a hospital bed not knowing what his future will be. I ask my warriors to pray for me. I want the prayers to help me get up from this bed so I can celebrate our victory. I'm going through very difficult moments and I want the world to know that I was cowardly struck in the back by a bullet. The federal government has sent 110 National Guard troops to work together with police to defuse tension and reestablish the negotiations. But the Indians don't seem to back up with their decision. Our struggle is not easy. We have been dealing with the farmers for a long time now, but we will win. The state refuses to recognize what is ours. We are tired of it. We will continue fighting to get what is rightfully ours. Our family and our children need the land because that is all we have. This month we have fought against the federal police, the farmers. We have lost a warrior, but the struggle continues. Our blood was shed, but we have now the support of other ethnic groups that are here, and we will continue until we have our land back. Meanwhile, a group of tribe members marched for 70 kilometers in protest towards the state capital. They also threatened to occupy the state university. To make matters worse, the head of Brazil's Indian Affairs Agency, FONAI, has resigned after the agency have come under heavy criticism for not having complete control on the indigenous. The land dispute between indigenous people and farmers has been going on since 1928. At this time, a total of 65 farms are occupied in the state, a considerable worsening of the situation. To avoid additional confrontations, the federal government intervened and worked out a 15-day truce between the parties until the courts decide the issue. In the meantime, the National Guard is on alert. Reporting from Cidrolandia, Ronnie Carvello, Press TV.